our universe contains infinite stories. Most of which are about rocks and ice at sub-zero temperatures in a vacuum. Rather boring. However, on a small damp rock, there is a story that bears a second look. It's your story. But the first four billion years or so mostly concern amino acids. Not much of a page to have. But then, over time, the amino acids bond together and things start to get interesting and a bit drier. A certain subspecies of hominid discovers that you can do more with a sharp rock than annoy your little brother. Tools and weapons are invented. The hominids begin to cooperate. Fire becomes a servant rather than an unpredictable force of nature. They learn to tan the skins of animals for clothing. They learn ways to record and probably exaggerate their adventures. Eventually, these tribes learn to build shelters and immediately hold the first barbecue parties. This is the dawn of humankind. Struggle and cooperation have been rewarded. The Neolithic era draws to a close. The whole world beckons. This tribe has come far, but the rest of their story is your story. You are the one who will build them into a great civilization. How far will you push humankind? A new era, a new epoch. While your tribe looks to you for leadership, the weight of all those future, unborn generations also weighs upon your decisions. What sort of lives will they have? Yo, we are back with humankind. And uh, as you can tell by the thumbnail, we are doing the Together We Rule expansion. I wasn't expecting to start the series back so soon, but it was some for some reason requested. I guess y'all like to hear me talk for some weird reason. But I digress. Um yeah. We are going to try a more diplomatic approach this time around. We I'm not guaranteeing we go to we use all the new civ um, all the new cultures but i do want to to put a focus on them so as you can see the ui has changed a bit since this um in relation to how we started i guess the last series but if you were here for the end of if you're here for the end of the previous series you would see that looks pretty much the same because the update kind of showed up most of the way through our series but hey um yeah this you you wouldn't believe i spent the last maybe half hour hour looking for a earth map to try use for this playthrough couldn't find one so i said you know what random i'm going to up the difficulty because i realized we snowballed really hard near the end of the the other run and honestly i don't mind losing um yeah it's, i up the scale of the, the size of the map i up the number of enemies by one uh so we are there's eight people in the game this time around okay. um yes yeah, let's okay uh we are near the top of the map, even though I don't know how much that benefits anything. Uh -huh. Just because a culture died out doesn't mean it wasn't worthy of study. Ooh, delicious! A lot of food. Though next time off it the might be better if you washed it first. Oh, and we are playing on the endless speed. Which is, I believe, a slow speed to what? I think last time we played on standard speed. But 
all of this is just to make the game feel a bit more interesting because we kind of cruised through last time okay here's the coast it at least seems like a decent place to you know what? I think it is better to put one of these down sooner rather than later Ooh. Okay, um, stories. The stories in the start. I believe we've seen this horn already. So we can get 20 food for the hunting party, which straight up gives us a new unit at this point. We can get influence, which we could use to put down another territory soon. Or we can get combat strength. I think i rather go with the food so since we're playing on us uh slower speed stuff like that is more valuable so how much do we need now um okay we need to be in a territory that we can actually expand in oh this has silk okay 40 influence has a lot this territory has a decent amount of silk okay uh, ransacking this should give us some I believe influence I know it gives us food okay we can get a discount for domestication we can get food on the city or outpost. Like a permanent, I think it's a permanent two food. I don't know if that extends to all cities or if it would just be for this one outpost that we have. But I don't. Still not convinced on the food. You know what? Get the food. Make ransack successful, and it is indeed just food. Um, what I'm gonna do? Okay, that's not what I want to do. What I wanted to do was, I guess I'll move it another. I'll do it a next turn. What I wanted to do was separate the units. Send one left one right but we'll do that again next turn um an outstretched tan is this new yeah this is completely new um the tribe has built a fine outpost and it's profound ah uh, and its proud structures blazing campfires and buzz of activity have drawn the notice of others who roam these lands Th through ah uh, though such wanderers pass by the settlement none had approached you directly until today when a small group of strangers arrived at sun up on oh, that i thought for some reason my brain was processing that as a location but no that's the time of day um they came bearing an unexpected request to create bonds of peace with the tribe coming as brothers and sisters to your people what answer do you give them do you give the offer we can get one pop um, we can get influence per pop for 20 turns currently I don't believe this outpost has a population no population of it has a pop limit of four but currently doesn't have any we could drop one of these guys in there or we can get three science and that helps to get us our knowledge task uno i think 
with the amount of food we have nearby i am willing to drop a population in there so it can net us at least uh we might be able to get the bop in there next turn so it can net us at it can hmm You know what? No. Talk. A first outpost means a first step into a new territory. And a new extension of your empire's power. But also, a new vulnerability. Okay. Transfer you. And head this way? Yeah. You can head towards the food. Both that both that and that and you okay i want to claim this territory next matter of fact this is the one that looks like i should have claimed first it has one two three four silk and silk is industry for makers quarters and we um the wondrous effect not that great but considering we have four out of the six ooh, four out of the six ah didn't notice the clip we have four out of the six in the world in this one territory i am willing to guess that the rest is at least somewhat close okay yeah this is looking like a location a good location for a capital we need 40 influence though Okay, could get some more over this way. And a world of flame, we would have seen this. We can either get a new unit, which is, I believe, just a rec just another tribe unit, or we can get a, d a discount to city defense. I think this time I'll go for the discount to goes uh, it goes a long way later on and well later as in in the next few turns even though i don't think i plan to start with city defense as a research I'm not pressed to gather to ransack on with this unit because they don't have any it doesn't have any food at all and we are halfway halfway there to a knowledge star right now I'm kind of hoping I just find ooh, a world a wonder somewhere Yeah, five food isn't necessarily worth it. Um, okay, you guys though can ransack that next turn. And boom, that's another unit. Okay, so lost souls part one um your scout comes to you breathless from a from exertion between gaps he tells you that he spied another tribe not far ahead he leads you he leads you on then after giving a stop signal you drop to your bellies and crawl forward in the bush ahead a young woman no more than 13 summers is leading a ceremony her audience a dozen or so equally young or younger tribesmen many are crying and when you see the bodies laid out you understand that they are in mourning 
you know what you must do we can be cowards and just dip and get two movement speed for all our units or the smarter thing we can wel welcome them to not our everything army. worth appreciating was forged by human hands and just like that we find the world wonder we are looking for mount everest ooh um stability industry influence and plus 10 faith on main plaza yep that is looking like a very strong second city location too bad it's up in tundra so this area it this area isn't all that useful on its own okay successful first around here see the sites appreciate the local culture and take anything mm -hmm. that's not nailed down okay back onto the river okay put you guys on auto explorer you guys head back in the direction of our s potential capital and you guys continue exploring okay I'll follow follow this river to its end okay there's some incense there there is some more um, another curiosity there <clears throat> violent pursuits I believe we've seen this already um, we can I believe these extend um, I believe this that says I believe this is a permanent like a permanent buff I don't know for sure but I think did we get did we get a food um, yeah we got a narrative event that gave us plus two food so we can take a narrative event that gives us minus two food but um, experience for creating units I believe this is a permanent extension I would hope so or it wouldn't really make sense for this early in the game we could get a reduction in domestication or we could get bountiful which is plus five food and we're actually pretty I don't think plus five food is necessary Nah, so I think a reduction for, oh, right, we can get units already. Huh. Okay. Let's get that. And then back on the river and we head back up along the coast. You. Head this in that general direction just trying to rack up enough influence to drop a second outpost uh, what's this what's this salt again not too not too pressured about picking up food on those guys want them more exploring so I don't want to divert time picking up curiosities that aren't um, directly related to us advancing yeah, you could argue, yo, RTG, um, food is directly related to you advancing, but, meh, hmm, huh. 
continent seems rather thin. And empty. Okay. The frugal hoarder. Uh, the shift to fixing our boards hasn't been easy for the tribesmen and women who'd settled in the outposts, but they've persevered. And now through um, I, sorry, I, my brain is really struggling. Um, and now through of the land as home, and now thought of the land as home, brain. Um, when they discovered that one of their number has been hoarding mushrooms that he'd found in the nearby cavern for himself, it was a great blow to the spirit of the tribe. Now they want to banish him for his greed, but that would mean being deprived of the location of the mushroom field. What is your reckoning? We can banish him, get city defense reduced again. We can protect him, which is bountiful for 20 turns. So we can grow, I think that was an X 20, 25%, no, an X 33% faster, where we can retain it and get two more knowledge star, two more knowledge points. So, I'm not really stressed about getting hunter points. I'm not really get the stressed about getting hunter stars. I want ten pop, and I want the knowledge stars. So I believe protecting might actually be the best pick. Grow the city a little faster. Okay, we have enough to drop. Should we drop it up by Mount Everest? That would no. Mount Everest is a second. It's a place for a second city. Right now we need. Right now we are aiming for a location for a capital. Okay. Grab that. And just like that, we are actually pretty close to advancing oh just like that we we are able to advance because I guess these guys found something new no. um, two two empires advanced one as the Mycenaeans one has the Harappans okay um, Ooh. Okay, we are way we are way further behind than I thought. The Assyrians, Babylonians, Egyptians, Harappans, Mycenaeans, Nubians, and Zhou have already gone. We are aiming for the Sumerians, which I don't think I don't think the AI is going to go after anytime soon. But as a Bit of a spoiler because we're probably going to get to them before the end of the episode. The Sumerians um, learned addition minus percent on attached territory costs per remaining city cap count. So the more city cap count you, the more you are under city cap, the cheaper it is to attach territories. So right. I don't know how many city, what our city cap is, maybe four. So it will be a, I believe it would be a, f a 30%, 33% reduction in attachment costs, which is cool. And as long as we don't expand to too many, pretty good. A minus 25% cost of signing treaties with independent people. That is good because the way they reworked independent peoples it will cause influence i hope i don't know if it will affect the the 
it will cause influence but i don't know if it will affect the diplomacy that we will we will need the their unique district is science science per adjacent farmers quarters science per adjacent um main plaza science per adjacent administrative center influence when leverage intel is collected so with these we get a bunch of science because it's i'm going to put it next to the main plaza which is a much better science district than all than most because it gives us eight off the bat and with the ability to give us more when we get research um and get pharma quarters down plus um collecting leverage is a thing that we will see a bit down but you'll know it when you see it and then their unique unit are anti-cav that gain additional combat strength for each um i think is agosh i think that's the pronunciation so each one in the army so it doesn't have to be adjacent like some of the other units it, you just need to have them in the army with you so hopefully we can a tribe's legacy uh i don't dang it i didn't actually read what that said I curse you brain Remind me later. Hopefully, no one picks them immediately. Okay, that's just notifying us that someone picked the Joe. You guys can head over here. You guys put a city down. Um. Wow, all of these are poor. I guess here. It's going to be a handful of turns, which is not encouraging. Okay, that's just the notification about the show again. Okay, that is down. These southern guys are making their way downtown. A new army okay in another world the tribe is growing as families bear many healthy sons and daughters raising them into strong capable tribes men and women one child however is struggling to feel a path for the tribe they seem to be they seem to have difficulty being understood and often appear to be lost in their own world the last few moons have have even seen them succumb to vocal outbursts in their sleep, frightening many. How can the tribe tackle this troubling matter? We can worship the child as a channel of the spirits of the wild and let their presence reflect our glory. We can try to understand them or we can get the destruction of one unit and combat strength on three other units so i guess randomly destroy one unit but three that's weird we should have it should have been four maybe but either way going to we shall worship this child mainly because i just want the influence okay for you guys i guess one person can like help reveal this fog of war other guys head south okay so six turns you know what i'll see if the spanning new no, that does not doesn't look like that's gonna make it any faster you can claim that you can claim that and i guess double back to that oh wait um okay sumerians are still there 
No, for some reason, we haven't gotten our legacy trade yet. Curious. Um, you guys can go on auto explore. Don't want to have to deal with you. These guys have made it really far south. Three turns. And hopefully we can get another two units by then. Uh, how... Doesn't say how quickly that that outpost is going to gain a pop, but we gain a pop here in five turns by the look of it. You know what? You guys make your way up north. We may be able to drop an potentially another outpost. No, that takes 120. Um, a splash of color. Searching through the remnants of a long, deserted dwelling, your tribe came across a collection of small stone bowls, each holding a vividly colored powder. Nearby, the source of the different powders is evident. An array of mineral rocks that could be similarly grouped up the tribal shaman tells you powders could be harnessed in several different ways each with its use for what purpose should you use these powders we can protect so basically war paint we can decorate things or we can um we can grow the hunting party um, I guess it's these guys. You know what? Yep. Extra food. Now we are just one. One away. Sumerians are still there. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Okay, we've discovered a forest. In a territory we've been already. Um, you guys, I don't, okay, whew, I was worried that, that was, that was telling us that somebody claimed the territory, so, somebody claimed a sieve, granted, we are, uh, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. We are the last one. Which means, on the bright side, we don't have to worry about anyone claiming a sieve. Okay. These guys are probably going to collect two food. These guys are going to collect more than two. Um, five food. These guys are gonna collect more than five so So I'll get those guys grouped up together. Okay, that food is collected. Take you off auto explore. Take you off auto explore and bring all of you in this general direction. We have, you know what? We have all the pop we need. No, I'll risk it. I'll, I'm going to risk it. You can go on auto explore. You know what? No, I want you guys in this territory because we may get the necessary influence soon-ish. Trademark. Okay. You guys go here. You guys skip your turn. Uh, 
Um, yeah, that was stupid. I think I may have just wasted the food. No, not entirely. Just wasted the food on one guy. Okay, so if that's the case, we are going. We're just gonna completely gloss on. Oh went past it completely gloss over the fact that I made a m mistake and we shall now adopt the Assyrians so next turn ah the challenges of a young civilization it's hard keeping up with the neighbors when they have the wheel and you don't humankind learns quickly that everyone contributes if you're terrified of wild animals, you can grow lentils or catch fish. Tribes settle towns. Towns develop markets, and markets begin the exchange of goods, services, and most important, rumors and hearsay. Not just markets for the Sumerians, but also the scribes to keep track of their crops. Ah, administration. You smell that? That my friends is the smell of progress and there's already an independent people that are a couple turns from um, establishing I guess okay so for our scouts I want one unit to join up here you guys go on auto explore you guys head back north it seems that it seems like we have a continent to ourselves, which is both amazing and terrifying. Okay, you guys, how much is it now? Still 120. And it's probably going to be cheaper once we get the ability to enact civics. Okay. We are a diplomatic culture. Well, that means our active ability, demilitarization. You can force a ceasefire on one territory for 10 turns, informing the international commu community that all unauthorized military units present there are trespassing. So this, this all unauthorized, I believe, include, no, it doesn't include, it doesn't include allies. So people that you have open borders with, I don't, I think it doesn't include them, but I can demilitarize this unclaimed territory, for example, and any unit that isn't ours going through this territory counts as trespassing. So they'll lose health over turn over time. Um, any such army. Any such army generates a grievance and thus leverage intel to the demilitarized territory for each successive turn spent there until oh sorry every unit will produce plus one leverage for your empire so yeah we leverage is a mechanic that will pop up later once we actually meet people and same well yeah if the target territory is already has already been claimed by an empire, only the owner and any empires that have authorized that have authorized cross. Oh, sorry. Only the owner and any empires they have authorized to cross their borders will be able to move freely within it. If the targeted territory is unclaimed, the empire establishing the demilitarization will be considered the temporary owner. Okay, so let's first pick a capital. And a religious tenant. Um, I think we are more of a go-wide civ or culture. So, as much as this is six faith now, this can be six faith soon. A city means shelter for those who need it, a place to store food, pens for the pigs. It may not be glorious, but it beats sleeping under trees. 
Okay. Um. So this I think we went over just now. Um, the diplomatic affinity. A gameplay focused on generating and collecting leverage. I'm gonna go through this before we end the episode. Um, diplomatic empires receive more fame when you earn diplomatic air stars. Cool, fine, we expected as much. Um, can force a ceasefire. Okay, yeah, we went through that. The, well, the we went through the affinity action. The affinity bonus, big brother. Unlock the ability to collect leverage intel on the map with all types of units and increase the agent capacity by one. So, we have a limited number of agents. I'm not all that familiar with the, that mechanic, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. And then the other mechanic is that leverage can only be picked up by agent units. So, we'll see the agent units when they get when we get to them but while we are the Assyrians the Sumerians right we can pick up our uh, in we can pick up Intel with any of our units usually that's just restricted to agents okay so first things first we want science um, both of these are going to be eight science and uh, which one is i guess this one is better to have because it's better to have our farmers quarters next to and uh, you know what this is actually a pretty cheap attachment but we don't want to do that yet we want to save well that is a star yeah that is straight up expansion is star like right off the bat but no we want our wait we never got our legacy trait that's that's not all right um okay we these guys i don't think have established yet This guy is waiting for a couple turns while we build influence. These guys are on the move. Um, the capital of Onug. I don't know if I like that name. Okay. Um, we don't have any civics unlocked at the moment. It's probably going to unlock soon we currently don't have our religion growing we can though pick a science a research okay so this is our unique unit we went over that okay so the wheel unlocks envoys you can take a look at it now as a sneak peek but we're going to discuss that at the start of next episode so i hope you guys enjoyed um this return to humankind even though for you guys it's only been half a week for me it's been a, a little while longer so hey i hope you enjoyed don't forget to leave a like a comment or if you feel I have done such a good job, you can subscribe to the channel. We are going to be releasing Humankind content every Monday, Wednesday, Friday until we get this playthrough done. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Peace, love and tranquility to all of you.